Good morning, loves. I'm just, like just woke up, hair in a pineapple still. Um, but it is the Friday before Christmas. I have the day off. I, ha I took off today and I took off Christmas Eve because I basically have zilch, zero, nothing done for Christmas. So I just got up. I have to go to the post office to get, um, to mail out Adam's mom's gift. I was going to show you guys. Unfortunately, when I bought it, I bought it while I was at a visit at this cute little country store. It's a, an adorable little, um, kind of like a light box type of frame, all handmade with wood. And then there's like a really pretty wintery scene with reindeer and stuff in there. It, it was beautiful. Um, and it was like about, you know, yay big. So you could put it on a shelf or a mantle. Very, very pretty. Um, but the guy wrapped it because I was actually, there was this gorgeous um, glass tree made out of crystals with like crystals dripping off that was supposed to look like icicles beautiful 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 and it had colors in there and I was just too afraid to get it because I thought that it would probably because she lives in Wisconsin I live in New Jersey and I didn't think it would last um, being shipped and yes he packaged it in a box for me but I don't think they would package it the way that it needed to be packaged for it to survive going all the way out there. So I got this instead, still very cute. And he, when I said that to him about the tree and everything, he packaged this one and he taped the box up for me. So I don't wanna undo it because he used packaging tape and all that stuff and it's gonna make a mess out of it. But I could find, I could try to find a picture online and insert it to see if it's something similar. But again, this is one of a kind because it was handcrafted. So um, I wrapped that up and then I wanted to show you guys, I have footage of it, but I didn't wanna, um, I just kind of want, want to speed through it. So I will fast, um, fasten that up. No, I will speed that up. There you go. Oof, I have not had my caffeine yet. But um, one trick I wanted to show you guys, I learned this actually from a girlfriend who ironically, maybe not so much because of the trick, is a hairdresser. And one time we were getting ready to go out when we were younger and she had a shirt. This was back when like the empire waist was really popular, but it would have two ribbons on the sides of your shirt and you would tie it in the back. So it would create like, you know, an illusion, like an empire. Like now it's more just for pregnant people, but back then everybody wore it. So the, the string on her shirt to make the bow was all wrinkled. So she took out her flat iron, her flat iron, and she proceeded to unwrinkle the tie of the shirt with her flat iron because it is an iron guys and I was I don't know at the time like I was like that's genius and then I've spoken to a lot of girls who do the exact same thing so I do sometimes do that like you know how the um pussy bow shirts came back a few years ago where there's like a, a either you leave it open but it's like a string or you tie a bow right here sometimes your shirt will be completely fine and iron but that bow gets all wrinkly or if you wear your shirt a couple times before you wash it that part will stay nice, but the bow from tying it will get really wrinkly in weird spots. Flat irons to the rescue. And I'm probably telling you something you already know, but it was like genius for me. Also ribbons, you know, if you want to reuse your ribbons because there's nothing wrong with it, it just got wrinkly or tied. Flat irons to the rescue. So there's your little Christmas hack that here you go. You're welcome if you didn't already know it. Um, so I have to head out to the post office to drop that off. I have to go to... Um, feel bad for me maybe the mall because I have to return a couple of things and my my nieces want um Victoria's Secret pink stuff now like they're just at that preteen tween age so I have to go to Victoria's Secret and get them gift cards and I have something from Express I don't know why I bought it it was like on sale it was only 15 or 16 dollars I debated giving it to my niece but then I was like it looks like it's 85 years old that's probably why it was so on sale. It's probably bounced around from store to store and the knit on it just looks very pulled and old. So even for $16, like get my money back. Don't give it to anybody, just go back. So I have to do those three stores and get the heck out. Oh, and I have to do some shopping for my mom because my mom can't shop for herself. So she asked me to go to Macy's while I'm there returning some stuff and get some stuff for her for some people. So that is it. Um, I'm gonna decorate the tree at some point today. And I have, um, one of my girlfriends gave me the Sephora advent calendar for Christmas and I just never got around to, it's been such a crazy year. Like I am never the Christmas Eve shopper and here we are. It's just one of those years between my mom and Vlogmas. I was telling Adam last night, I was like, I love nothing more than doing this. However, um, it's a lot of work, not complaining, love, love, love doing it, but it is a ton of work to film, edit, post a video every single day. So, um, and to pre-schedule them to make sure that they're up. So again, not a complaint, but it was just like, it took a lot of time this year where I'd be out uh, shopping or wrapping or 
decorating or anything like that. I was like log missing. So, so fun, but now I just have some catch up to play and that's okay. I have the day off. So, um, I will be getting some footage of that stuff and, um, anything else? Like oh, and the first step, duh. So a lot of legal stuff that needed to be taken care of as well. So, um, I guess that's it. You guys stay strong, love strong. I will see you. I think this is probably going to be smushed into the Christmas tree footage too. So I will probably be back. Love you guys. situation so i just wanted to show you guys since we're doing vlogmas let's do presents but that's not a good spot so hang on okay maybe this is a better setup situation i don't know we're gonna do the tree next but i wanted to do presents first so i got some stuff from victoria's secret for the older my older nieces but while i was there you guys i plan on making a video on the best wire free bras to wear to visit and i thought this one was looked really good. It's like really push up. There's no wire in there. The only thing is some places like where I go, you can't do a three strap closure. So you might have to like what I would do would be cut off one of these. Um, some places you can, some places you can't, but I, this was only $19. It was on sale from Victoria's secret pink collection. Um, I will, and they had different colors. I will let you guys know how this works. If it's any good, I will post the link. But, um, so I got, I got that for me this year. It's been like one for me, one for you, two for me, one for you like that. Um, and then they had these cute little gift sets because I really was just only going in there for gift cards for my nieces. So, um, I got them little gift cards. Look how cute this kit, this gift card is scratch and sniff, right? So cute. So we did that for my nieces. And then while I was in there, like I said, one for me, one for you, these pajamas I thought were gorgeous and they are originally um originally 49 for the bottom and 39 for the top and I don't play that game like I don't buy Victoria's Secret bras I don't do anything like that but they were $14.99 for the bottom and $12.99 for the top or something like that so of course I had to get them um so just this beautiful beautiful um I got it in rose gold but just like this beautiful little cami top and then these gorgeous matching pants like how like i would honestly wear these out in real life are they see-through and they're not even are they see-through like i would wear these with a white sweater i might actually wear these on christmas not lying to you guys because they do not look like pajamas so if i could figure out how to do it like how pretty would this be with like a white top and just like a strappy heel doesn't look like pajamas at all 
Um, I don't know. I'll keep you guys posted and let you know if that works. But oops, I accidentally got myself that. So we're going to put this and I'm going to keep the receipt in case I chose the wrong size. They had silver. The silver was like, bam, very, very silver. So it was a little too much, like very metallic silvery. But um, I just want to put my other niece's gift card in here. Um, and then I also got one of my nieces. Let's see if I can find the bag. Um, this cute little emoji phone charger. Like, oh, here it is. She is obsessed with poop since the day she was born. My little nine-year-old niece. I thought I got the rainbow one. See the rainbow one up in the corner? I thought I got the rainbow one, but I accidentally got the poop colored one. But so that's going with her gift card in here. And because they're older, we're not even going to wrap. We're just going to leave those in the Victoria's Secret bags. Then my other niece, I got, um, she's obsessed with Hatchimals. So I got that at TJ Maxx for her. And I got her this big guy at TJ Maxx too. So I saw the big guy. This must be like a, like a different season because I saw the big guy like this for $50 at Best Buy when I was there looking at cameras. But this was $12.99. So this is going to her, that niece. Stocking stuffer for dad. I have to get mom some stocking stuffer. So we'll put that in there. Um, and then I got, oh, these are just clothes my sister borrowed and brought back in that bag. Um, I got, oh, my sisters and I just do like mini gifts for each other, like not more than like $25. So I got them these straws. These are from Groupon. They, nope, these are from Amazon. They are um, stainless steel and they bend and they come with this little container, this little case. So you can drink like your Starbucks out of this straw and then throw it back in your bag and they're really easy to wash. So I'm gonna get them some Starbucks or, Starbucks or Dunkin' Donuts gift cards depending on um, what their preference is. Most of them drink Starbucks. So there's two of each in here. And I have three sisters and a sister-in-law, but I'm sorry, I have four sisters and a sister-in-law, but my other sister, I got an ornament, I'll show you because she doesn't drink coffee. And I saw this ornament and I was like, she needs this. Um, I got this gorgeous, Michael Kors bag for my best friend because she turned 40 this year. So I'm doing like birthday and Christmas together. Got that on Black Friday for a very, very good deal. Um, I'm not sure who's getting this um, Calvin Klein scarf yet. Beautiful scarf that it was on sale at Macy's. So it's either, it's either gonna be a return jobber or um, maybe my mom. I'm not really too sure yet, but it was beautiful. So I decided to get that. Let's put you over here. We'll put this over here. Um, I got this cute little TJ Maxx sweater for one of my nieces. Um, so cute, it was only $16.99. And then I got, what's in here? Oh, actually I just wanted to use this bag because I got this, um, this, as a gift for me from one of my friends. So you guys are going here. I just want to reuse this bag. So that's what that's for. I got my one little, my youngest nephew is obsessed with Moana. So I got him this little matching memory card game. Um, and then, oh, my sister, I was saying, um, she doesn't really drink coffee and we do little gifts. So I saw this when I was at Walmart in Bradford. It's so cute. It says, Dear Santa, please bring me a fat bank account and a slim body and please don't get them mixed up like last year. That is so something my older sister would say. And then it comes with this little marker where you can personalize it, which is really cute. So my older sister is getting that because we do very, very small gifts for each other. And then, oh, my niece also that loves Hatchimals have, loves Pick Me Pops. So I got that to add to her gift while I was at Walmart. A um, lot of shopping done at Bradford, which was very helpful. Oh, I got this um, at the country store where I got Adam's mom's gift. I got this hot pepper jelly because my dad loves, loves, loves um, hot peppers. So that's going in his stocking as well. Where did I put his stocking stuffer? Guys, where did I put it? Where did I put dad's stocking stuffer? I put it over here somewhere. I'm put that there. Um, and then my other nephew is obsessed with Matchbox cars. I'm sorry, Hot Wheels. So I got him, these Hot Wheels were on sale at Walmart. Walmart I think that was like $6. 
And then they also had mystery models, which come in here. So these were the only two that they had left. They were like 99 cents each. So that's that. And then my dad, I got my dad on Groupon. Um, he has a whole bunch of VHS cassettes that we've been for years. My mom's been like every birthday and then every Christmas. She's like, we should get them to convert. We should convert them, convert them. And nobody ever did it. So on Groupon, I was able to get for, I think, $50. I was able to get the... Um, the conversions done so it's 10 tapes I think I got for $50 so I didn't send them in yet because there's not gonna be enough time so I'm just gonna give him the voucher and then also either from my mom or from me I went to Macy's today and I got him the most beautiful this is so not his style it's so my brother's style but like I don't shop for men and I just freaking love this so I don't know if he'll wear a camel colored sweater but there's that and then so like as it gets warmer out in the springtime I thought this would be so beautiful together underneath or, and then for this year for Christmas, like, isn't this beautiful? Like, I love this together. It's so Christmassy and just so, like, I don't know, so very, very good colors together. I love that just with black pants or dark jeans. But I don't know that my thought, and that's more like um, spring. So this is, my dad's 70, so, and he's not, like, he doesn't dress like a young 70. So this is probably more, um a younger style I have a strong feeling my mom's gonna want to return this so I might um give them to him from me or we'll just return it and and she'll have to start from scratch but then again at the same time like nobody has time to go back out and keep shopping so he might keep it and he'll wear my dad is very very old school so he'll just literally ask my mom like what should I wear and she picks out his clothes so he might we might he might get stuck wearing it I'm not sure so that's it. We're going to go wrap. I don't think you guys have to be stuck wrapping with me because that's not going to be fun. And we did one this morning. Um, oh, and while I was out, I also got myself, because I'm starving, an acai bowl at Baji Bowls. So I'll probably sit here and eat some. That's a small, you guys. That is small. That is enormous. Um, that is my hand. <laughs> that is small. So I'll probably eat some of that and save some of it for my mom. Um, delicious, delicious, delicious. I love those. And then I'm going to get to wrapping and then we're going to decorate the tree together. But let me do this first and then we will be back. Love you guys.